Hey, good morning from Southern Nevada. Man, I'll tell you what, we have had a long, hot summer this year, and finally we got some decent weather, so bam, here I am, gonna pop out a video. And, uh, you know, it's just about the middle of September, and just four or five days ago, man, it was 112, 113 degrees out here. So this really feels good this morning. Anyways, we're gonna review the uh, Taurus Model 605 Poly Protector, a polymer revolver. Now I bought this a year ago, I did a, a review on it. I got almost half a million views on that uh, video, so there's a lot of interest in this. So we're gonna take another look at it, a, uh, a one year review. So right now, let's go back in my shop, we'll take a closer look at this. And we'll come back out here, I'll show you the ammo we're gonna shoot, and then bam, we're gonna start shooting. All right, look at this beauty, huh? Okay, it's not really all that pretty. But let's just uh, take a close look at it. This is a model 605. Protector Poly, look at that, huh? It is a five shot single action double action revolver chambered in 357 magnum and i do want to point out it is made in brazil so let's just take a, a, a look here it does have a, a hammer safety on it you can put a little wrench right in here turn that i believe counterclockwise it will pop out slightly keeping the uh, hammer from coming back two inch stainless steel barrel fiber optic front sight which is very very easy to see sights are actually quite crude at least that rear sight all right so you know that's really about it i do want to mention that the cylinder trigger hammer the crane is all steel the outer frame here is polymer as you can see but there is an internal frame which goes all the way around here and you can see that metal frame and uh, let's talk about the trigger pull on this you know the the single action isn't too bad it averages just over four pounds and we'll measure that here in, in a moment but I'll tell you what, the double action on this is very heavy. And we will attempt to check that here shortly. But it cycles good. It's never never missed a beat. So, so let's go ahead and check the, uh, the trigger pull on this. All right, we're going to check the uh, single action pull on it. Double check, make sure it's unloaded. Caught the hammer. And see if I can keep the light off of that meter here. Four pounds. Four pounds and about five ounces. All right now the double action pull now this only goes up to 12 pounds and it says do not go over 12 pounds or you could ruin this so check this out and i want to make sure i don't snag that cylinder on the carpet here see it says over and i I don't want to break this so we're not going to go over that so this is the uh, double action on this is definitely over 12 pounds I would guess probably 13 or 14 it's smooth but heavy okay so that's going to make it hard to shoot double action but we're going to do that anyways hey real quick I want to point out the ejector rod on this is actually less than half an inch but uh, that's okay because when you unload a revolver you need to point the muzzle up hit the ejector and let gravity do most of the work 
But I do want to show you something here real quick. I've got two cases here. And as you can see, they fit in there loose. But if the cylinder is in this position when I unload it, actually, this round right here will hang up on the grip. And you know what? So will this other one. Let me show that real quick here. Right right there so both of those will hang up this one right here on the grip and this one when it does come out it too can hit the grip so just something to be aware of if you're gonna carry one of these with a speed loader you may have to make a, a few little changes to that grip area right here but again one more time let me show you that a little close here right right there see that okay okay I think that covers it you know what time it is it is time to shut up and shoot all right so yes the double action pull on this is very heavy so that's what we're gonna test today really just see if we can hit anything with this double action pull but uh Let's take a look at the ammo and then uh, go ahead and start shooting. All right, Hornady Critical Defense 125 grain FTX rated at 1500 feet per second. Of course, we won't get that out of a two inch barrel, but these should have some nice recoil to them. And let's see, we've got some Federal punch this is a 120 grain jacketed hollow point and that's that beauty right here look at that huh and let's see if this has a rating on it I think it does 1,000 feet per second and I also have some various uh, reloads I've got some uh, 38 special standard rounds we're going to shoot so let's load up start shooting all right we're about five yards from my target i'm going to shoot my first three rounds are going to be the hornady 357 magnum and the next two rounds will be 38 special all double action i just want to show you the difference in recoil between a magnum and a 38 special and i do have double hearing protection earplugs and earmuffs because well, Magnum rounds are very loud, of course. So three rounds of Magnums, two rounds of 38 Special. Oh yeah, big difference. There's that round hanging up on the grip, or case. All right, let's try that again, except this time I'm going to shoot one Magnum, two 38 Special Plus P, and then one standard 38 Special. One Magnum, two Plus P, one uh, standard. That do have some kick to it. Yeah, you can certainly feel the difference between all three of those. Enough of that paper, let's have some fun. All right, three plates, about 10 yards, double action. I had to aim right at the bottom of the plates, but I got them. Okay, I'm gonna fire two rounds. 38 Special plus P and a standard 38. I just wanna check the reaction of the plates between the two two rounds so again first one is a plus P yeah I did notice a big difference now I'm not gonna shoot a magnum this close because even those plates are rated AR 500 they are not rated for a 357 magnum this close and needs to be at least 25 yards out
Okay, I've got two rounds. Let's see if I can hit that plate at least one time. Double action. Yeah, I had to aim three to four inches low and I hit it almost dead center with that second shot. But you know what? I'll take that. All right, 357. All right, 357 Magnum round. Let's see if we can get wet this time. That was much better. Man, the back of the uh, uh, trigger guard is slamming right into my knuckle with those Magnum rounds. Yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. And yes, guys, I will pick this trash up when I'm done. Well, you know what? I really did enjoy shooting this today. Um, you know, over the last year, I've put a lot of rounds through this. I haven't had one single problem with uh, with cycling. I do have a couple of complaints, though. It, it does tend to shoot high with most rounds. And two, I don't like the way the empty cases hang up on that grip when, uh, you know, when you go to eject the empty cases. But that's an easy fix because all you have to do is grind down that grip a little bit and I highly recommend you do that if you get one of these. Now I'm not going to do it on this one because I bought this to do reviews on it and I want to keep it original so I can show people what that problem is. And I also cannot recommend any holsters because I don't have one for this. I don't, I don't carry it on me. I have other guns that I carry. And these retail for just under $400. I bought this last year. I think it was about $330. So not too bad, especially for a 357 Magnum. Now, do I prefer polymer over steel or stainless steel? No. In fact, when it comes to revolvers, I'll take a stainless steel revolver any day. But if you're in the market for a polymer revolver, take a look at the Protector Poly. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'm going to clean up my mess, turn on my AC, head on home, and uh, we'll see you next time.